Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, we've been working on this all morning and uh, I changed up the design. I didn't really like it. Uh, it was kind of just plain Jane, so. We changed the design up. What we're doing, we're coming off the hood with some flames. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And then we're coming around. Now I got this one here in a twisty style, rope style mood. And then once you have the pinstripe line going across here, this flame will actually be coming out of the uh, pinstripe. Now, uh, I think it's going to look really nice, uh, but uh, we got a situation, and what the situation is, is if we go all the way down to the end of the car with the flames, okay, coming off the hood like we are and then coming around, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to get a little gaudy and it's going to be too much. So I basically cut it off at the door right there. Let's take a look. So if you look right here, you'll see that these are actually very long flames. They come around. This one here comes way over here. And this has the twisting in it to match the front up there. And this really is a lot better because it isn't overpowering the vehicle, okay? It isn't taking over the design and it's giving it a uh, full representation of the uh, yellow and orange. Uh, split when we pinstripe that and then uh, you see what I'm saying so it gives it different looks so when you look at it down the side here you see the flames coming out of it but when you're in the back it's a uh, solid orange and yellow and then in the front as you're coming to the front okay as, you, as you're coming up to the front you can see the flames coming off the hood and I got them right here coming out of the grill okay so I got them coming out of the grill and then around. And then of course if you look right here you can see that the flames are coming uh, onto the hood. And what we're going to do, we're going to transfer our pattern over to the other side. And uh, what I do to do that, I take my paper, okay, I take my uh, paper, what's up Bruno? How you doing buddy? I'll go ahead and put my paper on there and I'm going to make a pounce pattern. Now, uh, what a pounce pattern is, it's a pattern that actually uh, will let me transfer this design over to that design. Now, we're not going to show you that in this video. I have other videos, okay, that uh, will show you how to do that with ease. And uh, it's a very simple, easy procedure. And uh, I don't really have time right now to do this because we have got... All right, I figured it wasn't really fair that uh, I, I just kind of slot this job, rush it through, so, because I know you're watching these videos to learn stuff. So, once again, we got our pattern right here. Now, what I did, I made a pounce pattern, and I made it out of paper. See, what I did, I taped it on here just like this, and then I got it on the other side, I'm gonna show you. And then what I did is I took a crayon, a flat side of a crayon, and I went ahead, okay, and went over my traced out my pattern. So if you look right there, you'll see that it's traced on the paper. Okay? Can you see that? I hope so. I hope you can. So once I did that, I took a pounce tool, and it looks like a little spur, okay? It's a spur tool. Okay, and what I did, I, I went ahead and traced over the design. I turned it inside out, just like you see right here. Let me get the camera set up. Okay, I taped it in the exact spot. I made some uh, measuring points where I need to put it. Now that I got my pattern on this side of the car, what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to take my pounce pad, okay? Now you can also use a wipe all rag, uh, you know, just put some chalk on it. And I, I use a line chalk for this, okay, straight line chalk right there, okay? Now, I use two different colors. I use blue and I also use orange, but on this we're going to use blue. And then what you see here is you got your pad, okay, with your chalk on it. And then you just basically rub across it, okay, do a little bit of this, okay, give it a little bit of rub, all right, and you just do that all the way down, just like that, and try not to disturb the paper if you can, because what's going to happen if you disturb the paper too much, it's not going to put an imprint of the design on your car, see? So just go ahead and give it a good rub, pounce it on there. That's why it's called a pounce pad. So now I'm going to go ahead and just peel my tape back lightly. I don't want to take the pattern off yet. Don't want to remove the pattern. I just want to lift it up. Okay, and see if there, okay, I see the pattern underneath, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull it off easily, and right now at this time, I really don't care about the excess of chalk that's on it, uh, that's always cleanable, you can clean it off, now we're going to go ahead and pull our tape on paper off, and yes, it is under there. I'm going to take it off nice and easy. And as you see, it left the design exactly like I said it would. Now, we don't need these anymore because we can throw these in the trash. Because now, what we got, this one here comes up and over. This one comes around. It's pretty basically easy because you've looked at the other side so many times that uh, transferring the designs should not be a problem, an issue. Okay, now this is what takes time to do, see? Because you've got to make sure, you've got to make sure that the tape sticks down in between the dust. So you've got to be very careful and pay attention that you don't. See what I just did there? I just blew it off. Okay, I know this one ends here, but this one comes way over here, see, like this. So we're going to come out here, and we're going to go ahead and start this one just like this. And one more thing you want to be careful of is rubbing the design off as you're putting it on, see. I keep it on the outside of the pounce pad line because uh, when I put it on, when I did my pounce pad, I drew the line on the inside of the crayon, so. I'm going to come around here like this, and this will be one line. And you don't have to be perfectly accurate with this, because you'll never see both sides at the same time. It's a good idea to be as close as you can. I lost it right here, so we're going to go ahead and catch up with our line down there. See, that's another thing about doing this is you got to be able to, if you lose your line, you got to be able to uh, compensate and make up for it. Look right here. There it is, right there. So, there's that side. Let's take a look at that and see if they look the same. What do you think? So if you look down this side, you'll see the flames coming through. Okay. And then they come over this way. And they come right there to the end of the door. Then we go to the other side of the car. And you'll see 
the flames go down the side and keep on going so they basically are the same okay nobody will ever know the difference uh, especially when we pinstripe them okay when we pinstripe them they will look fine Bruno what do you got under there Got you find yourself a little cubby hole underneath the wheel well. We'll get back up under there then because we're not done yet. Okay. Looks like Bruno found. Where's he at? Oh, he's already gone. Danny. Oh, there he is. All right. Looks like Bruno found himself a little doghouse underneath the car. So uh, that's fine with me. There's our flames. We got the side done, we got to do the roof now, I mean the hood, and uh, then it's time to tape them off and get them done. This is Pete, Pounce Pattern 101, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.